Kentucky, 1925. Floyd Collins, a man of the earth, felt the pull of the unknown. Caves with their dark depths and silent passages called to him. He knew the risks, the dangers lurking in the earth's embrace. Yet he ventured in, driven by an insatiable curiosity. Sand Cave, a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers, became his obsession. Sand Cave held the promise of undiscovered passages, a hidden world waiting to be explored. Locals whispered of its secrets, fueling Floyd's determination. He yearned to be the first, to map its depths, to claim its mysteries as his own. Every descent was a gamble, a dance with the darkness. Floyd, armed with his trusty lamp and a thirst for adventure, entered Sand Cave on that fateful day. The air grew heavy, thick with the scent of damp earth and the unknown. He squeezed through narrow passages, his heart pounding with anticipation. Each step forward took him further into the earth's embrace, closer to his destiny. The cave narrowed, the walls closing in like a vice. Floyd, ever the optimist, pressed on. He wriggled through the tight space, his body scraping against cold, unforgiving rock. The darkness pressed against him, a suffocating blanket. Still, he pushed forward, driven by the thrill of discovery. He felt a tremor of unease, a flicker of doubt. His lamp cast eerie shadows that danced on the cave walls. The air grew thin, making it hard to breathe. He knew he should turn back, but the lure of the unknown was too strong to resist. He had come too far to give up now. Fear, raw and primal, washed over Floyd. He thrashed against his rocky prison, but the stone held firm. His cries for help were swallowed by the darkness, his hope dwindling with each passing moment. The air grew thick with the smell of fear and despair. Hours crawled by, each one an eternity. The pain in his leg was excruciating, a searing agony that gnawed at his sanity. He drifted in and out of consciousness, his dreams filled with visions of escape and the faces of loved ones. The darkness closed in, a suffocating presence. He clung to the memory of the sun on his face, the taste of fresh air, he thought of his family, their faces etched in his mind. Their love, he believed, would guide his rescuers. He would not surrender to despair. He would fight to survive. News of Floyd's plight spread like wildfire. People flocked to the site, their faces etched with worry and concern. Miners, farmers and townsfolk alike, united by a shared humanity, came to offer their help. The sound of their voices, though muffled by the earth, gave Floyd a glimmer of hope. Rescuers worked tirelessly, their determination fueled by the faint sounds of Floyd's cries. They risked their own lives, squeezing through narrow passages, desperate to reach the trapped caver. Every hour that passed brought new challenges, new dangers, yet they refused to give up. Days turned into nights, and still, the rescuers toiled. They shared stories of Floyd's adventurous spirit, his love for the caves, his unwavering optimism. They drew strength from his courage, his will to survive. They would not let him down. A breakthrough. After days of relentless effort, rescuers reached Floyd. He was weak, dehydrated and in pain, but alive. A collective cheer erupted from the crowd gathered at the cave entrance. Hope. Once a flickering ember now burned bright, food, water, and words of comfort were passed through the narrow opening. A doctor, his face grim but determined, squeezed through the passage to assess Floyd's condition. The news was not good. Floyd's leg was badly injured and he was suffering from exposure. Yet, the fact that he was alive, that he could still speak, was a miracle. Messages of support poured in from across the country. Floyd Collins, the trapped caver, had captured the nation's attention. Everyone, it seemed, was praying for his safe return. Newspapers across the country chronicled Floyd's ordeal, each update eagerly devoured by a captivated public. Radio broadcasts brought the sounds of the rescue effort into homes across the nation. Floyd Collins, the man trapped in the Kentucky cave, became a national obsession. People from all walks of life felt a connection to Floyd's plight. They sent letters, telegrams, and even offered up prayers for his rescue. The nation held its breath, united in hope, as the rescuers struggled to free him from his subterranean prison. The story transcended the ordinary, becoming a symbol of human resilience and the power of collective hope. In living rooms and on street corners, the question on everyone's lips was the same. Will they get him out? Despite the rescuer's best efforts, Floyd's condition deteriorated. 
The cold, the darkness, and the pain took their toll. His voice, once strong and full of hope, grew weak. His words, when they came, were often delirious, his mind slipping in and out of lucidity. The doctor worked tirelessly, administering what little aid he could in the cramped confines of the cave. But the odds were stacked against them. Time was running out, the rescuers knew it, and deep down, so did Floyd. Still, they refused to give up. They brought in pumps to try and clear the debris, but the unstable rock thwarted their every attempt. Each setback was a blow, a reminder of the fragility of hope in the face of such overwhelming odds. As days turned into weeks, hope began to dwindle. Floyd's voice, once a beacon in the darkness, fell silent. The doctor, his face etched with sadness and fatigue, confirmed what everyone feared. Floyd Collins was gone. A collective gasp of sorrow swept across the nation. The news spread like wildfire, leaving a trail of heartbreak and disbelief in its wake. The man who had captured the nation's attention, who had embodied the spirit of adventure and resilience, was gone. The rescuers, their faces etched with grief and exhaustion, emerged from the cave defeated. They had risked their lives, pushed themselves to the limits of human endurance. But it had not been enough. They had brought Floyd's body out, but his spirit, his indomitable will, remained trapped within the darkness. Floyd Collins' death sent shockwaves through the caving community and beyond. It served as a stark reminder of the unforgiving nature of the subterranean world, the ever-present dangers that lurked beneath the surface. His story became a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most experienced explorers were not immune to the capricious whims of nature. In the wake of the tragedy, calls for increased safety measures in cave exploration grew louder. New organizations dedicated to promoting safe caving practices were formed, their mission to ensure that such a tragedy would never happen again. Floyd Collins' death, though a devastating loss, ultimately led to a greater awareness of the risks and responsibilities associated with exploring the hidden world beneath our feet. His story continues to resonate with adventurers and armchair explorers alike, a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown and the profound impact that one man's passion can have on the world. Floyd Collins may have perished in the darkness, but his legacy lives on, a reminder of both the beauty and the brutality of the natural world. The story of Floyd Collins is a powerful reminder of the allure and peril of exploration. Floyd Collins, an intrepid explorer, ventured into the depths of the earth, driven by an insatiable curiosity and a desire to uncover the mysteries hidden beneath the surface. His journey into the cave systems of Kentucky was not just a physical expedition, but a testament to the human spirit's relentless pursuit of knowledge and adventure. It speaks to the human desire to push boundaries, to venture into the unknown, to test the limits of our courage and endurance. The narrow passages and dark caverns that Floyd navigated symbolize the challenges and obstacles that we all face in our quest for discovery. Each step forward, each new passage explored represents a triumph of human determination and bravery. Yet, it also serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder that the pursuit of adventure can come at a great cost. The shadows that shroud the cave entrance are a stark reminder of the dangers that lurk in the unknown. Floyd's tragic fate, trapped in the depths of the cave, underscores the risks that come with pushing the boundaries of exploration. Floyd's story is a testament to the power of the human spirit, our capacity for hope and resilience in the face of adversity. His determination to survive, even in the most dire of circumstances, is a powerful illustration of human resilience. The close-up of his determined face, lit only by the dim light of the cave, captures the essence of his unyielding spirit. It reminds us that even in the darkest of times, when all seems lost, there is always a flicker of hope, a glimmer of light that can guide us through. The faint beam of light penetrating the darkness symbolizes the hope that kept Floyd going, the belief that rescue was possible, and that he would see the light of day once more. As we marvel at the beauty and wonder of the natural world, let us also remember the lessons learned from those who have gone before us. The mesmerizing formations of stalactites and stalagmites are a tribute to the wonders of nature, but they also serve as a reminder of the stories and sacrifices of explorers like Floyd Collins. Let us approach exploration with a healthy dose of respect, for it is in understanding and respecting the power of nature that we can truly appreciate its majesty. The cautious steps of explorers traversing the rocky cave highlight the importance of respecting the natural world and recognizing its immense power. 
And let us never forget the legacy of Floyd Collins, the man who ventured into the darkness and in doing so, illuminated the depths of human courage and the enduring power of hope. His story is not just one of tragedy, but of inspiration, reminding us of the incredible feats that can be achieved when we dare to explore the unknown. The flickering candlelight in the depths of the cave is a poignant symbol of Floyd's courageous journey and the light he brought to the world through his unwavering spirit. Floyd Collins' expeditions were more than just physical journeys. They were explorations of the human spirit. His life and adventures continue to inspire generations of explorers and adventurers, reminding us of the importance of perseverance, courage, and hope. The historical photos of Floyd and his expeditions offer a glimpse into the life of a man who was driven by a passion for discovery and a relentless pursuit of the unknown. Today, modern-day explorers pay tribute to Floyd Collins at his memorial, a testament to the lasting impact of his legacy. His story continues to resonate with those who seek to push the boundaries of human potential and venture into the unknown. The memorial stands as a reminder of the sacrifices made by those who came before us and the enduring power of the human spirit. As we look to the serene landscape above the cave, we are reminded of the peace and beauty that lies beyond the challenges of exploration. It is a reminder that despite the perils and risks, the rewards of discovery and the beauty of the natural world are worth the journey. Floyd Collins's story is a powerful reminder of the allure and peril of exploration and the enduring legacy of those who dare to venture into the unknown.